Hi everyone, my name is Eleanor. I work at Arizona State University. Uh, I think you listened to the presentation quite attentively. American University, you will take five classes, classes per semester. Phoenix or New York or somewhere when you study at ASU. So what kind of jobs can you have on campus? How do you think? Bugün sizler bulan Arizona Üniversitesi'nin vakiller taşır bir üşüyen sizler için isimleri ilan olarak bugün sizler bulan prezentasyonu olarak. Bu mesela prezentasyonu başlayınız. You can start. Hi everyone. Uh, my name is Eleanor. I work at Arizona State University. Um, has anybody here heard of ASU already? Yes. Yeah? Perfect. Um, so I'll talk a little bit about kind of the campus, the campuses that we have, the programs we have, um, and then our admission requirements. Um, so to start, we're in Arizona, obviously, um, and we, oh, perfect. So I'll start, the um, we'll, slide will come up in a second. Um, I'll talk about our charter, um, and this is kind of what drives us as a university. Um, we're really focused on two things. Um, we're focused on, we're a public research um, institution, so we have a lot of research opportunities. So starting in your first year, you can do like hands-on research um, in a lab um, or whatever you might like to do, and you can start those in your first year. Um, and then we're also really focused on um, kind of an easy application process and the students that we include. Um, so we try to keep our requirements very easy to understand. Um, and we also have about 350 undergraduate programs. So the chances are whatever you're interested in, we have a program for. Um, and also I'll talk a little bit about our rankings. I feel like that's one thing that students tend to focus on when they are making their decision. Um, we're number one in the US for innovation. Um, which I feel like is kind of a big word that has a lot of definitions. But for us, what that means um, is we're really focused on making sure that we're doing things that are current. Um, so we're always reviewing our teaching practices, our programs, even the design of our buildings to make sure that they flow really well um, and to make sure that we're serving the needs of our students and our community. Um, and we also um, are pretty highly ranked for our first year experience because we think it's really important, I mean, international students or not, that your first year in college, you're getting adjusted. It, it, it can be a big adjustment uh, starting at a college. So we have a lot of uh, opportunities in place to make sure that you feel at home in your new environment. Um, and we're also number one in global impact. Um, so we're really focused on not just Arizona, but kind of the whole world. And then this is where we are. So we're right next to California. Um, our four, we have five campuses, four of them are in the uh, metropolitan Phoenix area, so kind of right in the middle of the state. Um, we're only a couple minutes from the airport, uh, so it's very helpful because I feel like the last thing you want to do when you arrive in a brand new country is then to get on a bus for three hours to get to your dorm or wherever you might be staying. So we're about a 10 minute drive from the airport in, in uh, good traffic. Um, this is just a little bit up close of our four campuses in the valley. So you can see we have our, uh, the airplane is the airport. We have our Tempe campus. Um, we have our West campus, our downtown campus, and then our polytechnic campus. Um, and Phoenix is the fifth largest city in the United States. Um, so with that comes not only a lot of the things to do, um, concert venues, so many like more restaurants than you could name. Um, but also a lot of companies are housed in Phoenix. So internship opportunities um, or maybe after college um, for, for work opportunities, you, you probably won't have to go very far. And we have a lot of career services uh, dedicated to finding you some work experience in a field that you're interested in um, and probably won't be too far away from where you are. So chances are if you have an apartment, you won't have to get a new one um, if you are working after your degree. Um, so these are our four different campuses, and I'll just talk a little bit about them uh, because they do each offer something different. Um, so we have our downtown Phoenix campus, which is right in the middle of downtown, as the name suggests. 
Um, that one kind of focuses on our pre-professional programs. Um, so that's where you'll find our nursing school. Um, it's where our postgraduate law school is. Um, it's one of our it's one of our bigger campuses. It has about twelve thousand students. Um, but as you can see, for most of our campuses, the class size um, remains pretty small. So average class size is about thirty to forty, depending on the campus. Um, so we try. The, the numbers can be pretty big per campus, but we really try to keep class sizes small so that you're not overwhelmed, especially in that first year when you're in a brand new environment. We also have our Polytechnic campus, which caters a lot towards engineering students and especially like hands-on engineering. So if you like to take things apart, put them back together, the Polytechnic campus is a great option. Um, it's also where our flight school is. Um, so if you're interested in that, we have an airport that is about a two minute walk from the campus. Um, so students who are in our flight program can get out of a lecture and then just walk across the street and start. I mean, they, they check your ID first, but you can get into a plane and start flying right after. Then we have our West Campus, which is one of our smaller campuses. It's kind of a more liberal arts focused uh, campus. It has about 5,000 students. So I feel like one thing uh, that's important when you're deciding where to go to college is not only kind of what you're going to study, but where you're going to study. Um, so you, you know yourself and you'd know if you'd excel in kind of a busier environment or if you're looking towards maybe a smaller, um, quieter sort of campus. So our West Campus is a great option um, for people who kind of like a quieter campus where you get to know your professors and your classmates really well. Um, we have forensic studies there. Um, and I believe we are in the works of getting engineering there as well. And then finally, our Tempe campus. This one is our biggest campus. Um, you can see we have about five or 50,000 students, um, which is kind of a crazy number when you think about it. But like I said, we try to keep um, classes small. And we also, I'll get into this in a second, but we have a lot of um, on-campus resources as well to, to help you find your community, uh, kind of starting with your first year so you don't get lost in those 50,000 students. And then these are just some resources that we have. We have a campus fit quiz, um, which if maybe if you're not sure where um, you'd fit in, you can go through and it'll say which campus uh, you might excel in, which can be helpful not only for ASU, but kind of get a starting idea of what sort of college you might be interested in. We also have our Me 3 quiz, um, which it's, it's really cool. It shows you different pictures of jobs um, and you just kind of rapid fire pick whichever one you like and at the end it gives you some career paths and degree ideas. So if you, if you don't know where to start, that's a great place. Um, we also have our degree search. Um, like I said, we have about 350 degrees, so it's a lot to get through. Um, and for us as well, you can search specifically by STEM degrees. Um, so it gives you a nice kind of landing page to start. Um, and for every degree, you'll have a major map, which will show you every single class you'll take your four years. So if you're deciding between a couple degrees and maybe you're like me and you hate math, you'll know kind of what to avoid. Or if you really like math, if you're really interested in some like specific type of engineering, you can go through and you can see what classes you'll take. So you can be kind of best prepared when you choose your major. Uh, we also have an honors college on campus. It's called Barrett the Honors College. Um, and this is a great option if um, you like to do research or maybe you're interested in kind of a more rigorous degree. Um, and for us, the Barrett the Honors College, uh, the honors students are going to be the only ones who do an undergraduate thesis. Um, so if that interests you, the honors college is a great option. And then I'll talk a little bit about the community and living on campus. Uh, for ASU, we house students based on their colleges. So business students will live with business students, engineering students will live as engineering students, and so on. And we do that, uh, one of the main reasons we do that is that you kind of have a built-in community. So you'll see the same faces in the dining halls and in classes and then in the dorm room. So you have kind of a, a starting pool of friends or people to study with. Um, or if you need to run errands, people you can, you can take with you. Uh, we also have about a thousand different clubs and organizations. Um, we have ones that are more focused on your major, um, so you can meet up with other electrical engineers or whatever it might be. Um, we have service-oriented clubs, so like volunteering in animal shelters or whatever it might be. And we also have some fun clubs. 
one I always like to talk about because I'm a little jealous I didn't get to join it. Um, we have a taco club and they literally just go around the city uh, trying different tacos. So whatever you're interested in, we would have a club or you can start one, um, which is a really great option to make friends. Um, I was an international student and for me, I for a while felt the desire to only talk to people from my country because I felt like they would understand what I was going, uh, going through, which is true, but it was also really good to meet uh, students that had other interests for me um, because that's kind of one way you really grow and learn and establish a new community. And then safety and well-being. Um, at ASU, we're very focused on student safety. Um, it's very important that everybody stays safe. Uh, we have our own police department on campus um, and we also have a bunch of resources, um, not only for physical health, so we have um, a service that will drive students um, around campus. Maybe it's dark and you don't want to walk alone. Even if it's bright outside, if you don't want to walk, walk alone, you can call a car um, and they'll take you. I believe it's about a two mile radius outside of campus as well. So maybe you have a final coming up and you're in the library studying until three in the morning. You can call them and they will drive you home. Uh, so that's one way we keep students safe. We also have doctors on campus, as well as mental health resources on campus. Uh, so whatever you are going through, we have resources to help and we won't kind of leave you alone with that. And then, like I was saying, we have a bunch of student organizations. Um, one other thing I'll bring up, just because I think it's really neat, um, our ISSC, which is our International Students and Scholars Center, they will go through and every first year international students gets a buddy who's a second year or above. So you'll have a go-to person who's been in Arizona for at least a year. Um, and they're a great resource. Uh, maybe you're going grocery shopping. Maybe you left something, you forgot something when you were packing and you need something that's very specific and you need to find out where to buy it around campus. So you'll, you'll start with a really great uh, of a friend who you can go to for any question you might have who's been through what you're going through. We also have study abroad opportunities. Um, while you're on a student visa, you can study abroad. We have semesters, years, or even spring program or uh, spring break programs, like about a week. Uh, one of my friends did a winter break program in Antarctica. So we have a little bit of everything. Um, for study abroad opportunities, it's either uh, taking classes in a different university or you can do research opportunities while you're uh, abroad. Okay. This is just another one of the resources we have. We have a first year success center. Um, so you can be paired with somebody um, and kind of talk through study habits, talk through how to best prepare for exams, how to keep track of all your deadlines, anything that might come up in the way of academic struggles because being in college is a different environment to being in secondary school. Um, so we kind of help you get adjusted to that so you can be best prepared. And then, of course, finding a job after campus. Um, on a student visa, you do have the opportunity to work between one and three years afterwards. Um, we have, like I said, Phoenix is a huge city. So we have a lot of employers in the area. Um, we're number three in the world for student employer connections. Um, and part of that is we have a, a huge alumni network. Um, so chances are uh, there will be other people who went to Arizona State in kind of the interview room. So you have an instant connection with them. Um, and now we'll talk a little bit about, yeah, down your side, sorry. A little bit about how to apply and what we're looking for in applications. Uh, so for first year of international students, we're looking that you have a 3.0 GPA, uh, which is about an 80% average. Um, we're also looking uh, that you have uh, we want to see three years of secondary school work um, in Uzbekistan because it goes to 11 years. We'll need to see nine, 10, and then half of 11. Um, so you can't just apply with nine and 10. We need that, that mid-year for 11th before we can give you an admission decision. And that's kind of, that's all we need. We just need your transcripts and then your English score. Um, for English, we accept many tests. We take the IELTS, uh, TEFL, Duolingo, um, our minimum IELTS score is a 6.0. Some programs do have a higher English proficiency requirement, so it's important that you look at what you're interested in. Um, nursing, I know, has a higher English proficiency, and then some engineering degrees do as well. 
So whatever you're interested in, it's important to just look it up and make sure that you are meeting those requirements. Um, and this, if you, has anybody applied to ASU already? All right, not yet. Um, when you do, you'll get uh, access to your My ASU, and this portal will just take you through um, your application. You can check the status. You can check what we might need for you, anything like that. All right, um, this slide takes you through um, the cost of attendance. Base tuition right now is about 31,000. We do have scholarships. Um, so one more, I think. Perfect. Uh, so we have the New American University of Scholarship. Every international student, they are automatically reviewed for this. So you don't have to press any buttons. You don't have to send in any application. Um, at its highest, it's about 40% of tuition. Um, and again, that's just for being admitted to ASU. And then, of course, we have other scholarships that you can apply for um, within ASU or externally. Um, but it's really great that we have one that you don't have to do any work for. You just apply to the university and get considered for that scholarship. Uh, finally, I'm not sure any of you would have your phones out, um, but this is just how to get in contact with us um, for ASU. Um, and of course, your school can also help you apply. Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Lilia. I'm uh, also part of uh, Arizona State University and part of Kaplan. What is this? It's a oh, it's a I also need a microphone. Okay. Um, it's really good to see so much interest in Arizona State University. So thank you very much for listening for the presentation. Eleanor, thank you so much for giving a presentation and telling us more about ASU. Uh, I think you listened to the presentation quite attentively. That's why right now I would like to make a little pop quiz. What is pop quiz? Do you know? Like a little quiz, like a little game without any prizes or anything, but <laughs> we can, um, I will ask you a few questions about Arizona, about ASU, to check how well you listen to the presentation and just your general knowledge. Are you ready? Yeah, yeah okay. So, uh, Arizona is in, um, there are many states in the United States, yeah? How many, to be exact? 50, yeah. And Arizona is located where? Well, no, no, no. I mean, on the map of the United States, is it? It's in the center. Is it? No, it isn't. Which states are located next to Arizona? California. Nevada. Good. New Mexico. Well, there are many states. Yeah, it's in the so it's in not in the south. So it must be very hot there. Who can tell me what is the temperature at Arizona right now without your phones? I don't know either, but I know the approximate uh, temperature now. Who can give a guess? 20? 30. 30? 21. We have two people from Arizona here. Miles, my colleague, and Eleanor. Could you tell us what's the weather now at ASU? Not at ASU, at Arizona. Right now it's very similar to what it is here. Okay, it's very similar. So it is around 20 degrees. So yeah, you, I think you, you are right. Very good. Uh, and um, Arizona is a state. What is the capital of Arizona? What is the biggest city in Arizona? Phoenix, yes. And uh, ASU is located very close to Phoenix. What is the population of Phoenix? You can give a guess. Is it one million? Is it two million? Twenty-five thousand. Twenty-five thousand? No. ASU alone has one hundred thousand students who study there. Eighty thousand study in the campuses. About five million. Can we ask our uh, people from Arizona? Four point two million. Four point two million. So it's a big city in the United States. In fact, it is the fifth largest city in the United States. Now, um, so it is far away. How do you think from Tashkent to Arizona? What is the time difference? Like what time is it right now in Arizona? 12? Is it 12 now? Nine? It's actually very quickly you can see the time at ASU. You don't need Google for this. 
All you need is look at your time. What time is it now? 11.20. So it is 11.20 in Arizona, but it is not morning, it's night. You must be in bed by this time, yes. So very easy. That's why when you study there, your parents will wake up in the morning and you will go to bed and you will talk to them. Or you will, they will wake up and you will go to, okay. So either, either each one, but you will talk to your parents every day, I hope. Uh, University of Arizona is very big. Arizona State University is very big. How many programs can you study there? How many programs are available there? 350. Have you applied there? 50, yeah. Have you applied to ASU? No. How do you know so much information about it? From presentation. You were very attentive. Very good. Now, who wants to study uh, computer science? Are there people who want to study computer science? Yes. Is there computer science at ASU? Is there computer science? Does anybody remember? Can you study computer science? There was computer engineering. There, was computer engineering. there is computer science. There is artificial intelligence. There is everything you want to learn about IT. You can study at ASU. In fact, it is number one in innovation. So something uh, related to technology, ASU would be the best place to study. Who wants to study business? Okay, many people want to study business. Is there a business at ASU? Okay, yeah, there is business, there is management, there is marketing, there is supply chain management. What is supply chain management? Do you know? Supply chain management. It's logistics. It's when you learn how to deliver food or any other goods from one place to the other. Or you want to work in the air with airplanes. I'm very, I'm very good at descriptions. You can also study logistics supply chain management. And it is one of the best at ASU. Who wants to become a doctor in the future or a nurse or work and help people? Nobody, okay, nobody wants to uh, grow up and help people, but if you want to study nursing, biology, or chemistry, or neuroscience, genetics, you can study this and do as well. Who wants to study graphic design, animation? There are two people who want to study this, and there is a pro uh, three people, good, there is a program that they assume that you can study. And who wants to study engineering, like civil, mechanical? Aerospace engineering. There's only two people. Three people who want to study this, and you can study this at ASU. So basically, everything you want to study there is at ASU. I think I mentioned many programs. Uh, another question that I wanted to ask you what is the minimum requirement in English that you need to have to apply to ASU? 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0. 6.0.
or Duolingo 110, you can get a scholarship. Yes. But if your IELTS is 6.0, grades are 3.0, probably they're not going to be a scholarship. Now, what is the deadline to apply? Who studies in 11th grade? 11th grade. Okay. Okay, there are many people, but if you didn't apply to ASU, you still have time. So how much time do you have? 10 days? That's kind of correct. You, have, you need to apply now. That is the right answer. Uh, but you can apply until June. But if you want to live on campus, you need to apply in April. So yes, about 10, 20 days. The earlier, the better. When you apply, and your school counselors will help you to do this, in how much time will you get an offer? Three weeks? Two weeks. Two weeks. One to, one to two weeks. Yes, two weeks. Two weeks is okay. So if you apply on the 1st of April, in the 15th of April you will get an offer and you will need to secure your place and pay the deposit. How much do you need to pay? Yeah, I heard the right answer. 300. That's it. And then you go for a visa and then you go to US. So when do you go to US? When the, the studies begin? I don't think that Eleanor had it in the presentation, but how do you think? It's not September. It's not 1st of September like it is in our countries. It's in August. Which date, Eleanor? 17th. 17th of August. So it is early on. So you already need to have a ticket in July. Need to have a visa in June. Need to have accommodation in April. You need to apply in March. That's, that's the steps how to apply to American University, not just ASU, to any university. Um, you are very good at, at answering my questions. So uh, very good, everybody. But I have a few more uh, to ask you about general information at ASU. There are many clubs, societies, communities, because when you go to university at, at, at uh, United States, you go there not just to study, you go there to develop, right? So how many clubs are there at ASU? More than 1,000. Yeah. Do you think, uh, can you, does anybody play soccer? Yeah. Does anybody like politics? Nobody? Okay. Does anybody play instruments or sings? Not for ASU, but like, can you work while you're studying? Yes. Uh, how many hours? 20 hours per week. per week. Yes, not per day, not per month. It's per week. It's very important. And uh, can your job be like in Phoenix or New York or somewhere when you study at ASU? No. Hmm? Online? Yes, but not if it's online and it must be at ASU. It must be on campus. So what kind of jobs can you have on campus? How do you think? Freelance? No, not really. Hmm? Library assistant is one. There are many swimming pools at ASU. Can you swim? If you can swim, you can be a lifeguard. There are many Starbucks at ASU. If you want to be a barista, you can work that. Sounds good. <laughs> it does. <laughs> you can have many jobs when you uh, study and work. And how much money can you make per hour? Five to seven. Dollars. Five to seven? It's very low. Ten. Ten? Ten, fifteen. Thirteen dollars. Yeah, about twelve. About twelve dollars per hour. So if you work, let's do a little bit of math. If you work for 20 hours per week, how much money can you make per month? 400 dollars maybe. No, let's multiply 12, 12 per, month. per month. Per month, 400 maybe. About. I should have been prepared with that answer. Wait a second, let's count together. 12, um, $12 per hour, that's 20 hours per week. 12 by 20, that's about 200, let's say. And 200 by four weeks, that's 800. So 
No, eight, not, not more than 800, something like this. More if you earn not $12 uh, dollars per hour, but like 15 or 20, then yes. But the main point is you go to the university to study, not to work, to study. This is the main purpose. How many classes can you take each semester? Three classes? No. How many classes do you have now? At school? Lessons. 14? In this school? In, no, no. How many, how many lessons do you have? Four, five. A day? Yes. And they are different every day? Yes. Yes. So, an American university, you will take five classes. Not every day. Um, sometimes it's one class, two classes, or three classes each day. But it's five classes per semester. Yes. Or you can take maybe six, but it means that you go overboard. You must take about 15 credits when you study at ASU. So when you graduate, you need to have 120 cred credits to graduate from the university. Now, when you graduate from the university, can you stay in the US and work? Why not? That's a good answer. But how long can you stay uh, in the US? A year. A year, you're right, a year. But what if you study computer science? What if you study data analytics? What if you study mechanical engineering? What if you study biology? No idea. Three years. Yes. So if you study something that is STEM related, science, technology, engineering, mathematics, you can stay and work for three years. If you study something with uh, business or art or not STEM, you can study for one year. What about our visa? Uh, it's going to be a post-study, not post-study work visa. It's going to be extension of your study visa. Yes. What is the visa called, by the way, when you go and study in the US? F1 visa. Yeah, everybody knows that. And J1? Hmm? Nope. Yeah, exchange, exchange visa. Yeah. Can you go on exchange when you study at ASU? Yes, you can. You can go. And Eleanor mentioned it. Her friend studied in Antarctica. Or was, was it for exchange? You can go to Canada, Antarctica, uh, South America, Europe, Singapore, I think. Um, can you go to Singapore? I think, yeah, probably. For one semester or for two semesters and study there. So you will get an um, experience of studying in two countries when you get your bachelor. Uh, I think I'm done with my questions. Do you have any questions to us? Uh, can the university help us to take visa? Uh, they will give you I-20. This is the biggest help that they can give you. <laughs> because without the I-20, you cannot go to the embassy. But we are going to help you with the mock interview. Mock interview is like, uh, we will do interview, we will help you prepare, and then you go to the US embassy, and it's all on you. Uh, can you, uh, can you show the interview with someone? Oh, just I'm... for uh, example. Uh, I can't show right now, but I can uh, I can give you a few questions that they usually ask. Okay. So and you can answer them either to me or in your head how you will answer. The first question, yeah. How much do you pay to enter the visa? To enter the visa, one hundred and sixty dollars. This is the consular fee. Before the university, I asked this question and they gave an answer. What, how much do you need? $300. This is the deposit. Uh, why we should uh, choose uh, to study in Arizona State University give the five biggest reason? What is the difference from other universities? That's good. Five biggest, re the biggest first reasons. First one is... Okay. First one is we need to look at the ranking. ASU is number one in innovation. So if you want to study something innovative, this is the best university in the United States. If you want to study especially something in technology or even business, but something in innovation, this is the place to go. Second reason is where it is located. It's also a very important one. Uh, it is, you know exactly where it is located in Phoenix, so it's not very 
uh, cold. It's going to be very nice for you to go to studies and enjoy your weather. But also the Phoenix provides a lot of opportunities for you to go and work after you finish your studies. You can stay there and work for Zoom, Intel, some other IT companies. And ASU, that's the reason number three, sends a lot of students to work in Silicon Valley. Why do students go to Silicon Valley to work? In IT sphere. So it's usually Facebook or Google or some big companies if you want to work for this. ASU is the biggest the biggest universities that send students to study to work in Silicon Valley in California. Uh, another reason is the tuition fee. It is very, it is not very cheap. Yeah, it is high tuition fee, but they give a lot of scholarships. So if you know English, if you have good grades, they will give you scholarship for all four years to study at ASU and decrease the amount of your education. And number four, number five, I would say the fun student life at ASU. You will enjoy your clubs, societies, you can do a lot of things, you can work there. So it's a really great experience to study at that university. This is just on top of my head. I can continue, but I don't think we have much time. Okay. I think ASU, it's just, there's so many choices. You can really make the college experience whatever you want it to be without leaving the Phoenix area or with leaving the Phoenix area. There's just so many options and so many different choices for you to get exactly what you want out of your university experience within ASU. And at the same time, who doesn't know what you want to study? Not yet. Maybe it's business, maybe it's finance, maybe it's marketing. Your parents tell you, go and study accounting. And you say, maybe not. Maybe I want to study, I don't know, psychology. You can study two degrees at ASU. You can get two programs. It's either two majors or two minors. Do you know the difference between these two? Yeah. So, and at ASU, you will not pay extra for your classes when you get two degrees. That's why in four years, you will graduate with the diploma that will give you a bachelor in psychology and bachelor of finance. Is that possible? It's theoretically possible if you study really hard. Yes. Or Bachelor of Computer Science and Bachelor of uh, Artificial Intelligence. If you want to learn how to make robots, you can do that. And two degrees in four years. You will not study eight years and you will not pay 60,000. You will still pay, pay the tuition fee. Uh, is the uh, full scholarship for international students? My answer will be very, very short. It's a no, <laughs> because it's a state university. They don't give full scholarships, but they give many merit scholarships, merit-based scholarships. When you apply, they will give you this 45% scholarship or up to 45. But when you are admitted, you can apply for more scholarships and you can get 2,000 or 5,000 or 3,000 from different sources. Yes, you can do this. Hello. Hello. My question is, does the university, uh, as Arizona State University, cover our tuition if we fail to graduate within four years? Like I have read an article about some universities that will cover all the tuition if students cannot graduate within four years of their studies. I don't think so, but we can ask Eleanor. No. No, she just says no. If you do not graduate in four years, you have another year to graduate and you will still pay because it is important for you to take uh, at least 12 credits per semester. But if you fail the course, uh, the university might not even accept you for the next study, not even pay. Because uh, in America, it's in the US, it's very important to follow the rules. If you do not go to classes, if you, um, study less classes than you're supposed to, if you are working more hours than you're supposed to, if you, I don't know, if you are failing or you do the pleasure, ple you're plagiarizing your work, like your classmates write a paper and you take it and you also write copy from that paper, it's not, it doesn't look good. They might not take you for the next semester. And if ASU cancels the contract with you, the visa is taken away. So this is not the best scenario. And I do hope that students here 
will go and study, follow the rules, go to classes and study well. My yeah. follow-up question. Yeah. A short one. How about co-ops in Arizona co State University? Co-op is something that is popular in Canada, but uh, co-op is essentially internship. Can you do an internship when you study at ASU? And the answer is yes, you can. There are about 60-70% of students that do internship every year oh, in, in the, when they study at bachelor. Yes, you can. Thanks. Yeah. Good question. If there are no more other questions, I feel like the presentation was very informative that um, you provided. Eleanor, thank you. Uh, let's give a round of applause to Eleanor and to you for answering the questions correctly. Great job. And if you have any more questions, feel free to contact your school counselors and they will help you with the, present, with the application process, visas and other questions. Thank you very much. Sağlar var mı bana? Sağlıyorlar. Top Amerika kim kit muhtemelse bizde ofiste bilesler, bariler, çünturamız, vize canayonları da hem aslında yordam veremiz. Ho, haz bir de bir an önce kime sağlıyorlar bu se? Bizde ofiske bari, kardinatlardan sonra, hem sağlığı çok basile bulur. Bütün Prezentasiya qiziq bo'ldimi? Qiziq bo'ldi degan albatta qo'l ko'taringlar. Yaxshi zo'r. Bunaqa prezentatsiyalar yana bo'lib tursinmi? Bitta qarsak jalib olinglar bo'ldi. Hammaga katta rahmat. Amerikada o'qiyman. Men o'zim Amerikada bo'lganman. Amerikada shart sharoitlar juda ham zo'r studentlar uchun. Şu üçün sizlərəki təsiyyə qələmiz hər doyum Amerikədə uqışdır. Vizanı həm qısa bolədi, vizanı bollar alışı yəbdi, bunun imkaniyyəti var. Fəqat qorxmazsa xərəkət qəlilə, bunu bəyəm olan eplası bolədi. Xoşumca malumatlar üçün bizgə bol ilə ofis qəyətilə, həmən əsləm üçün tür verəmiz. Həmən əkət tərəxmən. Eleonora, thank you very much for your presentation. And Lydia, thank you very much. And I hope that you will see our students at your campus very soon. Yeah. Well, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, so, uh, thank you very much, Jones, uh, for your beautiful presentation. We hope to see you again. And with the target of education, I hope to see you again. The, you know, the last year students here, the nine years in ten year students here, and hopefully we're going to apply for this university with the target consulting, which is located in Sipsar Street. So you can just Go there after our classes or, or address your counselor here. Thank you very much indeed. If you don't have to say something, thank you uh, for lunch. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, uh, thank you. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, so, uh, I made the presentation about the show. Understandable, credible, so you know all about this. Uh, uh, I mean, you are, I mean, whoever it is, uh, somebody from the school, so you can just address them and uh, ask them information about how to apply. If you need to have any further information of applying for Arizona University, you can apply for it. But uh, I believe something more interesting than that, not just only applying things for sure, you, you are searching for getting scholarship, not 100%, but around 50% of scholarship. It's, you know, very good thing. It's just, you know, very good budget. You know what? You pay this money here at this international university is here in Tashkent or abroad. But I believe getting third level education into internationally recognized top one uh, innovation university in the world, which is stated in Europe, the United States of America, and Phoenix, will be best opportunity for you. I'm myself interested in getting uh, PhD programs here as well. Why not? I'm going to go going there with you together. <laughs> so, for such reason, guys, if you have any further questions. Ask your school counselor, your director, your manager at school. They'll give you further information about this, or visit the site of you know, Arizona ACU. Well, if no questions to ask, well, thank you very much indeed. Go back to your classes, study hard, 
and go for it. Thank you.